Molecular beacon. Molecular beacon is a probe that causes fluorescence when binds to its target sequence. The structure of a molecular beacon contains three main parts, a reporter, quencher, and a loop. Both 5' prime and 3' prime ends of the molecular beacon contain a fluorescent dye, also known as the reporter, and a quencher. Molecular beacon does not cause fluorescence in free form. Because the quencher and fluorescent dye are near to each other, when the beacon is in free form, the quencher absorbs energy from the fluorescence dye. This way, the quencher blocks the light from the fluorescent dye and the dye does not glow. The stem contains two sequences on both sides which are complementary to each other. Each of these complementary sequences is around 4 to 6 nucleotides long. The loop sequence is the most important part because it binds to the target DNA. The loop sequence is complementary to the target molecule sequence and it is nearly 15 nucleotides long. When the beacon binds to its target sequence, the loop structure opens up. This causes the 5' prime reporter and the 3' prime quencher move apart from each other. So the reporter starts emitting light and causes fluorescence. Remember, molecular beacon is a single-stranded molecule and it is around 20 to 25 nucleotides in length. That is it for today's video. Make sure you are subscribed to the Science Entertaining. Like and share this video if you wanna help others. Stay tuned. I will see you in the next video.